Welcome in to another edition of the Leadership Library, hosted by CEO and author Rocky Romanella. Rocky is the author of the book, Tighten the Lug Nuts, The Principles of Balanced Leadership, and has over 40 years of business experience as a prominent member of the UPS Supply Chain Solutions team, as well as the CEO of Unitech Global Services. So sit back, grab your notebook, and take a seat, and get ready for this edition of the Leadership Library. Welcome to the Leadership Library. I'm your host, Rocky Romanella. Today I want to talk to you about something that I find very interesting uh, but I also believe is a very significant thought. If you think about it from this perspective, the first 100 years of a company does not guarantee the second 100 years. Now, we all know 100-year companies, American Express, UPS, started in 1907, Seattle, Washington, DuPont, Coca-Cola. We all have those household brand companies that, we, that are over 100 years old. But the first 100 years doesn't guarantee the second 100 years. And we also know those companies that are 20, 30, you know, the apples of the world, Google, you know, Tesla. You, you can think of all those companies that don't have 100 years but there's no guarantee there'll be a second 100 years. Because if you think about it for a second, they're just not too long ago, everybody had an AOL account. Think about companies, think about us all having Blackberries. Well, some of you are too young to remember that, but we all have Blackberries and thought it was the coolest thing in the world, and holy cow, we got a Blackberry, right? Oh, the company's finally spending some money giving us all Blackberries. Now today, if you had a Blackberry, people would be wondering about you a little bit, probably. So think about that concept. The first 100 years does not guarantee the second 100 years. And how does that happen? Well, let me give you two quick examples. On over the 100-year anniversary, when asked, why isn't there a Sears and Roebuck catalog? Now, most of you don't even know about a Sears and Roebuck catalog, but Sears and Roebuck was one of the largest retailers in the world, had a catalog that everybody waited for. When asked, the CEO said, well, nobody buys anything on a catalog anymore. Well, I ask you, can you get another Pottery Barn catalog in the mail? Can you get another, what's in your mail today is all catalog. But more important than that, who is Sears today? It's Amazon. Because you can buy anything in a Sears catalog. Now, today, you can buy anything in an Amazon, on Amazon online. So is it, is it that nobody was buying in a catalog, or did Sears lose their way a little bit, right? Because the first 100 years didn't guarantee the second. How about another company over 100 years old when they closed the doors, and somebody said, why are you closing the doors at Woolworth? They said, well, nobody wants a five and dime anymore. Well, can I ask you this question? Can you find another, do you, do you think there's enough Dollar Trees out there, Dollar Stores, under five, Dollar General? No, it's not that nobody wanted a five and dime, you lost your way. And people didn't recognize who you were. You were selling micro, you were selling the TVs there, you had a counter for people to eat. That wasn't who the five and dime was. So think about that. So how, so how do you protect yourself against this concept of the first 100 years doesn't guarantee the second, or your first 30 doesn't guarantee the next 70? Well, I'm gonna use a quote from a famous hockey player, Wayne Gretzky. When they looked at Wayne Gretzky and they realized he wasn't the fastest skater, didn't have the hardest shot, certainly wasn't very physical, wasn't going in the corners, but yet was the most prolific scorer in NHL history, they just simply went to Wayne Gretzky and said, what makes you the greatest? And his answer is what will keep you going for the next 100 years. Wayne Gretzky said, I'm the greatest player, and didn't say it in a boastful way, but you're asking me the question, what makes me the greatest player? I go to where the puck is going, not to where the puck has been. Now, did you ever think about this for a second? How many times did Wayne Gretzky score, and somebody said, how could you lose Wayne Gretzky? Well, it's because they're in the corner fighting for the puck, and Wayne Gretzky's like, well, the puck's gonna come out at some point. When it comes out, it's gonna go towards the net. Where do you think I'm gonna be standing? At the net. So I'm going to where the puck is going. Organizations, people have to go to where the puck's going, not to where the puck has been. And when you think about these companies who had such legacy, such household name brands, they didn't go to where the puck was going. Many times they were first to market, right? Wasn't AOL first to market, probably in our minds, with an AOL account? When you get there, it doesn't mean you have arrived and you're good to go. We're, what's it hang here? No, no, you keep innovating. You keep thinking about where the puck is going. You need to have that Wayne Gretzky mentality. So remember that, the first hundred doesn't guarantee the second. Go to where the puck's going, not to where the puck has been. Be safe, thank you for listening, we'll talk soon.